This video will show you how to resaw wood to cut a thick piece into thinner pieces. It's a helpful technique for creating veneers, book match panels, or maximizing the use of expensive lumber. Resawing can be done using different tools. For this tutorial, I'll show you two ways to do it, first on a table saw and then on a band saw. Resawing on a table saw can be a quick and efficient way to cut the wood into thinner pieces. First, set up the table saw by installing a sharp blade and adjusting the fence to the desired width of your resawn boards. Accuracy is crucial here. Measure and mark your wood, ensuring it's wider than the final desired thickness. Also, consider the blade curve loss. Position the wood against the fence, ensuring it's flat against the table. Remember to wear safety goggles and use push sticks or blocks to keep your hands away from the blade. Start the saw and gently push the wood through the blade, maintaining a steady pace. For wider boards, consider making multiple passes, gradually increasing the height of the blade. This reduces strain on the blade and helps maintain accuracy. It's better to take your time and make several precise cuts than to rush and risk a poor result. Next is resawing on the bandsaw. The bandsaw provides more control and versatility for resawing thicker stock or when you need precise cuts. First, adjust the blade guide height to match the wood's thickness. The blade should track in the center of the wood. Hold the wood firmly and turn on the bandsaw. And remember to wear safety goggles. Slowly feed the wood into the blade using even pressure. Let the blade do the cutting and guide the wood through without forcing it. To prevent blade drift, apply slight pressure in the opposite direction of the drift. You can also adjust the fence or use a feather board if necessary. Blade drift can be a common challenge, so take your time and make adjustments as needed. After resawing, you may notice rough edges or saw marks. To achieve a smooth finish, pass the boards through a planer to achieve the desired thickness and ensure parallel surfaces. This adds uniformity to the resawn pieces. If needed, sand the boards moving along the grain to avoid a tear out. Sanding can provide that final touch of smoothness and remove any remaining imperfections. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more woodworking tips and tutorials. See you next time.